I just dropped Alicia off at work and the river is so, so high. Look at that. That's where Gypsy and I were standing the other day over by the, the underneath the sundial bridge where the amphitheater is. That's where we were. The whole walkway. The whole walkway down. the water. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, oh, some mallards. <laughs> where? Bye, Alicia. Have a good day at work. Thank you. Good morning everybody. Today is February 13th and I just dropped Alicia off at work. And as you can see, the river, the Sacramento River is so, so high. We've had so much flooding in Northern California. The Sacramento River is fed by the Shasta Dam, which is north of us. And the Shasta Dam is about the highest it's ever been in like history, as far as I know. And so they've been doing a lot of releases because of risks of, of the you know, dam integrity and things like that. I know that down in Oroville, which is really not that far from us, their their dam is like in serious trouble, like serious risk of basically busting. They've already evacuated and stuff down there. Even though the, the Sacramento River doesn't affect that lake, um, still, that's just kind of like what's been going on right now. Uh, I was not intending to come back to Turtle Bay East today. We went yesterday, Gypsy and I did. Um, I was just going to drop Alicia off, and r Gypsy often rides in the car with me when I go to drop Alicia off. But I just had to stop by to see how much higher the river is today than it was yesterday. So I didn't even bring a jacket. Jacket. I haven't brushed my teeth yet today. But Gypsy and I are going to go for a short little walk and see how bad the river is today. Hi, sweetheart. Let's keep going, okay? It has definitely come up since yesterday. Let's keep going, Gyps. She's just lollygagging today. Maybe it's the cool weather. Hi, baby. You gotta keep up, okay? Here's Gypsy's favorite spot again. And it is, I believe, even higher than yesterday. I know. It's funny. Some spots seem higher than yesterday. Some don't seem to be a whole lot different, but it's definitely raging more. River is so high. This is crazy. And <laughs> Gypsy's being really smart. She's been staying out of water today, not wanting to touch it. I don't blame her. It's a little cold today, anyways. Let's go to the car. Yeah, let's go to the car. Good girl. Gotta wait. Wait for me. Good girl. Ready? Jump up. Good girl. That was a fun little unplanned adventure, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go home. I don't even think you've eaten breakfast yet. Yeah, you have, you've eaten breakfast. I have eaten breakfast. <laughs> so I'm back in the house now and I am working on editing yesterday's vlog while I eat my breakfast. I do have public speaking today at 11 o'clock, but I don't have to leave for like another hour. So yeah, trying to get a little bit of work done before I go. I'm feeling very antsy for some reason. I just came home a little bit ago, ate some lunch. But while I was driving home from school, I just had this sudden urge to go look at RVs. I, I just feel like I need just to get out of the house and go look at, RV, at RVs and just dream a little bit on my own. So I'm going to go down to Anderson and check out one of the used RV places. Who knows, maybe I'll find my dream home. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but I need to, I just need to go. We'll see. So hey guys, I went down to Anderson and checked out the RV um, RV dealer down there. They did not have anything in, within my budget. I have a really limited budget, um, but I've been down there before when I was first looking for RVs and not even sure exactly what I wanted. I went just to go look to see what they had. The own, uh, I don't know if she's the owner or the manager. Her name's Marianne. She is amazing. She's absolutely amazing. She is just so kind 
and you know she just talked to me straight she's like honey we don't have anything within your price range but let me show you what to look for if you're gonna go look at private sales so she went and walked me through a couple of her units and opened up panels and showed me, hey, this is what you need to look at for the refrigerator. She told me what to look for to see if the fridge is starting to go bad. She told me how to check to see if there's water damage. And it was like, she just sat down with me and basically gave me all these checkpoints for me to check when I go to look at private sales. I'm gonna go look at a private sale on Wednesday and have felt kind of nervous about it because I don't really know what I'm looking at and I'm really afraid about buying something that's more than I can handle. So it was kind of a blessing, honestly, to get to go talk to Marianne. And when I do get my RV, she'll probably be the first one I go back to to get any maintenance done that this thing might need because she was just so kind and so sweet. So if you're in Northern California and you're looking to buy a, a used RV. Oh, she has new ones too. Uh, go check out Anderson RV Sales and Rentals. I'm not sponsored whatsoever, but hey, she was really cool. Now it's recording. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I don't know, what are you want? Okay, this is your moment of truth. This is my moment of truth. Um, today I was working and there were some, I keep wanting to say refugees, but evacuees evacuationees from Yuba, from Yuba City because of well this happening but it, this isn't even ever. this is even not this the is same kind of not related which is the same kind causes. of yeah <laughs> same causes the lack of a drought what? does this so anyways I was telling Miranda that yesterday that somebody said a proverb not from the Bible but it might be in the Bible I don't know but it was basically <laughs> it was in times of drought prepare for times of floods okay because it's not yep. to, we go from yeah. drought to floods that's, that's how it works it's around here basically we're a land of extremes so i really really want to see a wood duck because i mean like we wouldn't and i was talking about it as we were walking by there was a couple that were like oh my gosh no we saw some wood ducks they're right over there they're swimming with the mallards well here we got mallards right and I run over to go see what they're talking about. Like, yeah, the wood ducks have brown heads. And I'm like, oh, Those are also okay. Mallards. No, this is also a mallard. This is a female mallard. They're this female mallard. They're dinomorphic. Two male mallards. A Canadian goose. Oh, there are no wood ducks here. These are terrifying creatures. Not as terrifying as you. Where are you? Not a wood duck, but. I think this is what they thought was a wood duck. It's more related to like a loon or something. It's but I can see why they would mistake it as a wood duck because it does have a little bit of a mane on it. A little comb on the back of its head. But definitely not a wood duck, not even a duck. You see the crocodile? There's a crocodile in the river. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. We have crocs in California, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Not even alligators, crocodiles. <laughs> well, there's some more out there. I don't, I don't know what that is. More crocodiles or more birds? More birds. No, 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 it's the only crocodile. <laughs> there's another mallard. We also have a nice little flock of red winged blackbirds, which we already know is one of my favorite blackbirds. Somebody put some food out there for them. Obviously obsessed with birds. I mean, not obsessed, interested. Yeah, I can be obsessed if you want. Some people would say this borderline's on obsession. No, I wouldn't say Nana's obsessed. Does she stalk birds like I do? I, I don't know. Mm, I haven't eaten since breakfast. All right guys, I'm wrapping it up for the night. Alicia just made a delicious dinner. It's one of our favorite meals, Cincinnati chili. If we have any other Midwesters out there that know what I'm talking about. So good, we eat own spaghetti, it's delicious. We're all full with food babies. Um, I'm just putting away dishes and watching Pro Jared plays. Um, what is he playing, Resident Evil 7? While I do that. And I've got some reading I need to do tonight. And then I'll probably turn in early because I've been super, super tired. Thanks. Um, what? But like, 
What? The breadsticks haven't arrived yet. The breadsticks. So what about breadsticks? I have a friend. I have connections. I'm also thinking about making cookies. Girl, finish your thought before you move on to the next one. So, breadsticks. I have a friend, I have connections. With Olive Garden. With Olive Garden. He's gonna bring us breadsticks. I don't, I don't know, know if he I'm... didn't say tonight, but I'm assuming tonight. It made it sound like it'd be tonight. But I don't know. I'm so full, I ate so much food. I don't know if I can eat a breadstick. Could or you... a cookie. I would eat a cookie if you made them, but that's that would be like, you should make cookies for tomorrow because I was planning on eating sugar Tomorrow? If you make cookies for tomorrow, I can eat them tomorrow. But we're gonna have ice cream tomorrow. Are we? Okay. Are we? I don't know. Are we? I know I'm gonna have turkey tomorrow at lunch. I'm going this to is my sister. a very special friend's house. This, this is my mom. sister. This is my sister. <laughs> I can't touch my face. I'm not, I'm not allowed to touch my face. <laughs> Wave goodbye. Good night. Blow kiss. That's what we do. Mm. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>